Hey, what's up guys? And today we are going to take a look at the Seven Artisans lens. This is their um, 35mm f1.2 Mark II. This is their one of their newer uh, lens. It comes on this white box. On the back we have the lens construction and barcodes and on the bottom side we have their QR code. So let's just take a look of what's up with this lens. Ooh, vacuum. We got this uh, foam padding. We get the brochure. Um, most are in Chinese but there's also an English version of the instructions. We don't need instructions. And the lens itself. All right, it comes packaged with this um, uh, plastic. All right, so this is the lens. It's a small and tiny lens. You can see here, it's a very lightweight, um, but surprisingly heavy for its size. It's unusually uh, pretty heavy for its size it's almost weird it's about I forget the grams let me check all right so the specs are 35 mil for a Sony APS-C the construction is metal the weight is 218 grams it has a click aperture 10 blades 5 groups 6 elements uh, 46 angle of view and max aperture is f1 0.2 minimum aperture is f22 and closest focus 28 centimeters and filter size 46 mil all right so see what's up here on the back side we have your regular um, e-mount plastic thing and then on the front side we have this new friction you don't screw it in it's a friction mounting it it's actually not really good sometimes because it could fall i mean it never fell on me but there's a chance of it falling all right guys so here's a little note from me in the future i noticed that it won't come off if you're using a filter in which case i did use a filter and when I took it off, it's actually pretty slippery and very easy to fall off. The cap is actually very loosely attached to the lens and as I try to drop the cap, it actually drops off like nothing was even there. But once I uh, put my filter, in this case it's just a normal 49mm um, UV filter, uh, third party one, and um, it actually fixes it adds uh, some friction and adds some like extra millimeter and that's why uh, after adding a filter it actually works with the friction cap the focus ring actually focuses really smoothly it turns almost 180 degrees and it's actually a breeze to use and to focus with it's actually pretty precise and for the aperture, um, it's yeah, as mentioned, it is a clicked aperture. It is also very use, very easy to use. Yep. So continue to the video. And this is a very manual lens, so no electronics, and uh, it has metal construction on the back, which is good, mean, meaning that it will be durable and it will last long but there are no electronic collections connections and this is for the sony e-mount and on the uh, on the side on the top part of it we have our focal distance hyperfocal distance measurement we have our focus ring which is surprisingly smooth very smooth for the aperture we have a clicked aperture listen to this All 
all right so let's click aperture you can see right here oops All right, so here's a closer look at the lens. We have our aperture ring right here with the friction cap over here. Let me just take it out. And then on the back, we have our standard E-mount back lens cap. And currently it is installed with a, a 46 mil UV filter. Now the focus ring uh, actually turns very smoothly as you can see over here uh, the barrel extends a bit so there's a little bit of focus breathing and um, extra barrel distance for the aperture it is clicked and it is awesome for photography here's a closer look with the aperture and there you go All right, so it's all manual and 35 mil. This is their version two. The version one has a uh, smooth uh, aperture. It is the click aperture. This one has the click aperture. And here are the photo examples that I took with this lens. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much for the review of this lens. It is 35mm, it's very strong metal construction, it has a dick, uh, it has a very clickable aperture and very smooth focus ring. Um, and it's for the Sony E mount, there's also for Fuji X I think and MFT mounts. And um, there is slight chromatic aberration where you shoot in wide open, the contrast is fairly okay at wide open it is not the sharpest at wide open but once you stop it down you're definitely getting some more resolution and some contrast within your images that you're taking but for its price range this lens is actually very good and it, it actually uh, it actually weighs more than its competitions and definitely more than its price so that's pretty much about it for this lens and i hope you guys enjoy this little mini review i hope that i can review more lenses like this and if you guys have any uh, recommendations just leave at the comment down below make sure you guys stay subscribed by clicking the subscribe button the bell icon and click on like if you like dislike if you dislike and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much